So is Lori going to come do our makeup? Or? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm Chris. And I'm Caitlin. And we've been coming to Highland for a little over five years. And we've been married for about two. And we'd just like to share with you a little bit of our story. He's the first one. <laughs> the first time. That was way better. <laughs> um, and then we got married. And coronavirus and <laughs> everything's been super awesome since then. <laughs> Our first two years of marriage have been full of a lot of change. We were married for a couple months and then the world shut down. Um, it's a good experience. And uh, we got COVID the first two weeks to slow the spread, so that was a terrifying experience. <laughs> she was the only one terrified. Yeah, we learned. Uh, we learned for that in that first six months that we really need the church uh, desperately, not doing well um, spiritually without the church. Uh, so when the church opened back up. Uh, it was a very joyous day mm -hmm. um, for us. Changed jobs a lot, we've moved a lot, we've, um, we just bought a house, and so we've crammed a lot into two years, and in all of those decisions and really big decisions, we've really had to learn to just how to align ourselves and agree on those decisions and, and also do them through the lens of <clears throat> what is our goal for our family, and I think that's something that Chris is really, really gifted at is um, not taking anything lightly in a good way and just really taking things seriously and thinking, is this change going to serve our goal of serving the kingdom and growing our family and serving the Lord? And, um, and we've had to really put that into practice with a lot, of, a lot of changes. And we've been really thankful the wisdom that we've received from people here that when we come to those crossroads and we come to hard hard things in our lives and in our marriage that we can reach out to to Danny or Nathan or anybody and say hey we don't know what to do and we just need to to bounce this off of somebody and they they not only give us wisdom and advice but also encourage us um, as we move forward and cheer us on as we make changes yeah and I, I've learned <clears throat> personally that um, it's not an easy ride um, that I thought it was going to be. Um, marriage is hard. Uh, it's um, a lot of self-sacrifice uh, and forgetting of yourself, uh, and that is a difficult thing to learn um, going from a 20-year-old boy to being a 20-year-old married boy. You did a good job, though. Thanks. About the, the interview or, like, the marriage? In general. <laughs> So I grew up in a Christian family. I got saved when I was probably four or five. I was baptized when I was five, and I always joke that I got baptized twice because I fell on the way in. I slipped on the step and almost went under. <laughs> so, um, but the, yeah. Did the second one or the first one count? I don't know. Hoping, hoping one of them covered it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I grew up in a Christian family, grew up going to lots of different churches, and I went to a Christian high school, and. It was really my high school that um, made me excited about my faith. I had some incredible teachers that, that mentored me and discipled me and encouraged me to just really take ownership of what I believe and allow it to transform my life and my heart. And, um, and then my junior year of high school, I started coming to Highland. You met me at high school, not Highland. <laughs> well, yeah, but I met, okay, whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Um, and I made her come to my church. Uh, otherwise, I said I wouldn't talk to her anymore. And so she started coming to Highland. It was, I do you think that's real? I'm it's probably, probably sure happened. That was a conversation we had. <laughs> my junior year of high school, I met Chris at school and yep. then started coming to Highland with him. And Highland has been a huge transformation in, in my life and in my walk with the Lord. I've been so thankful for just the intentional discipleship I've received and the opportunity to serve and just um, the incredible examples that are here that teach you how to how to love the Lord, how to love the Word, um, and how to serve serve the Lord well. Yeah, I grew up in Illinois. I grew. Uh, <clears throat> I was there for 16 years of my life, so that's all I knew for a long while. Um, we didn't really have any family out there, um, and so all it was was you know sports and school for me. Um, and I started going down some <clears throat> not good paths. And uh, my parents had to take some action in order to change the future for me. And uh, so they sent me to Utah 
and there I went and got some really good therapy, some hard therapy uh, for about a year. I met God in my first couple months. He um, didn't allow me to continue doing the same things that I was doing uh, and making excuses for the way I was living. Um, he really taught me some really hard lessons uh, and built me up. Uh, he didn't just leave me there um, to soak in my misery. He showed me a better way um, in a really, really good way. And then not only that, uh, he gave me a family back here at Highland. Came back here to Colorado because uh, my parents moved from Illinois to Colorado while, while I was in Utah. And then I ended up um, having to go, the choice between uh, two schools it was a private charter school um, and a Christian school. And I was all about the Christian school. Very nervous, but really excited about the Christian school. And there um, I got to take some theology classes, some Bible classes, and oh my gosh, the staff were so great. I get to have some really hard conversations, some really good conversations. Uh, got to question things um, instead of just accepting, um, which was really, really good. And uh, Highland always has been a center point um, uh, in my life. Uh, the last couple years, even when um, jobs that I've had have tried to lead me astray, uh, people here in Highland uh, have brought me back uh, and reminded me um, what's important uh, and what really matters um, and what I should be doing with my time. I should be spending my time with the Lord. You know, we're both on youth staff. Uh, I do the slides, so really big deal for sure. <laughs> Um, my wife does the worship, um, and uh, but we, we do really um, enjoy uh, speaking into their lives, uh, those kids' lives. Um, I think it's um, a huge blessing for us. Uh, it, Caitlin said this earlier, but it doesn't feel like a chore. Uh, when we go, we're, we're excited to go, and we're happy to stay and talk to them. We're excited um, whenever we can go do something outside of church with those kids in a group. It's, uh, it's really, really fun. I want to talk about Caitlin's yeah, kids. <laughs> I still don't have anything to say. <laughs> I think you definitely have a servant's heart. And I think that uh, you just say yes, it needs to be done, and they need someone to do it, and I'm here, so I'm going to do it. Um, especially you do the unnoticed things in the church, too. Um, the things that aren't the glorious jobs, you're not like, oh, I will only be a lead singer, right? <laughs> like, you you do everything um, that the church needs and without thinking about it. Yeah. Tidy him up a little bit. Yeah, sorry. He did the shower today, so. Whatever. <laughs> um, I would first just say thank you to the church, and I, I really genuinely mean it when I say that Highland has, has changed my life in a lot of ways, and the Lord has used Highland to um, just pull me closer to Him, and so thank you to every person that intentionally reached out to me and discipled me and mentored me and um, encouraged us in our marriage and in our relationship. Um, and then also just to anybody who's on the fence about buying into Highlands or church in general or Jesus or anything like that, like just do it. You know, this church is, I've been to quite a few and this church is unlike anything I've ever experienced. and. Um, if you buy in and you jump in and serve and jump in and just get involved, like you will, you'll find a community, you'll find a family, and um, the Lord will use this church in your life in incredible ways. And so, just do it. Something I, I struggle with, and I think we all struggle with, uh, but I think it's really, really important, is to not forget the people um, around you that may not be easy to deal with, uh, whether that's at work, school, or even here in the church, because uh, God didn't forget about you. Um, and I remember thinking back, I, I think about it a lot, but uh, when I was really hard to deal with, God didn't forget about me, he didn't leave me. Uh, he showed me his heart of kindness. Um, and <clears throat> it'd be really, really sad uh, if he didn't do that. And I think if you are the first one um, to show someone kindness, um, I think uh, I, I think they wanna be around you and they, they wanna be they want to know what you're doing different in your life, uh, and I think that's really, really attractive. Um, and so, although it may be hard at times, I think it's really, really important, and I think we forget to do that. Say Good. the rest of it, just... So I just say Chris and Caitlin, and then you yeah. finish it off? Sure. I'm, or no, you're, you're going to say Caitlin, so I'm just going to say Chris. <laughs> um, and we 
if I could share a little bit about our story. <laughs> Sorry, I messed that up. Why did you say it like that? I didn't mean to. I knew I was going <laughs> to stutter, so I said, story. <laughs>